we are the one infinite creator. We are an extension of it when it comes to the body and the mind. The individuated sense of self is an extension of the one infinite non-dual creator. This is just the truth. Just deal with it. This is the truth. You are inseparable. Every portion of what you call you is inseparable from the one infinite creator and at an absolute true level. The truest level is that you are everything that is and you are beyond. You are the source of all that is. Therefore, when I say the one infinite creator, I'm actually directly addressing myself, you, in these different eyes, but same thing. All right, so how do you harness the power of the one infinite creator inside of this illusion of form, of manifestation, of creation? If you look at our society, we are underwhelmingly disciplined, meaning there's a complete lack of discipline or the application of will. Now, I'm not a big fan, I've never been a big fan of discipline as it's typically taught or in, instructed or tried to be enforced upon people like you have to do this and this and this. I never was good with that. I always wanted to do it my way. So it's seemingly I was undisciplined, but actually in my commitment to what was true in myself, I was highly disciplined. So make discipline fun, make discipline simply the application of will for what makes total sense for you, your incarnation, your growth, your spiritual journey, your learning, your awakening, your manifestation. So the power of will is how we harness this. One of the ways in which we harness the power of the one infinite creator that we are, and we get to know ourselves as the one infinite creator, one of these ways is the dedication to applying the will in ways that make sense, in rightful ways or aligned ways. So what do I mean with that? Means This means that you can apply your will to anything. You do this all the time, every day. You are applying this free will of the one infinite creator constantly into things you're pouring it into things that are not worth it okay and who am i to judge that what you're spending your time on is not worth it well i don't care it's just not worth it all the things that you do every single day they're not worth it most of them anyway for most of you i mean there's exceptions but there's rightful ways to apply your will and there's unrightful ways let's just call it that there's ways that are in alignment that make sense that are important, valuable, crucial to existence itself, to life itself, to nourishing and valuing and accelerating the very purpose behind creation. And there's ways that are just super, super random, are all about seeking validation in the world, are all about not knowing who you are and proliferating and expanding upon the things that are not really you. So consider that most of what you spend your attention on, you, what you apply yourself to is not worth it. Now again, if we take the distinction of the non-dual path or the path of direct self-realization, and sometimes then we can judge the application of will by saying, well, that's not important because that's the ego, that's the individuation. But I guarantee you, my friends, that you are going to need that energy. You're going to need that discipline. You're going to need that application of will trained in order to penetrate into these higher levels of truly directly realizing the one infinite creator as yourself. It's not just going to happen by grace. Fuck grace. Grace is the result of the application of will in rightful ways. Then everything is gracious. You can't just sit back and expect God to come your way when you're filled with all these random, non-important priorities which are, should not be your priority but everyday life just draws you in left right up down you have no fucking clue who you are and then you apply that precious will that precious power of the one infinite creator in those ways and they're not being of service to you or life they're not nourishing life and so they're not making a difference they're not making a difference a difference needs to be made look around look within a difference shall be made all right so now that we got that over with Understand the symbiosis between the personal, the individuation, the will of the creator being harnessed in the form of a mind, body, spirit entity. That will, when trained, when harnessed, when made consistent, when made aligned, when prioritized, now it becomes the source of, of all joy, of all fulfillment, of all making a difference, but also of your self-realization. The power that you accumulate through the practicing of manifestation, the practicing of the application of will in rightful ways, in aligned ways, in life-affirming ways, not life-denying or life-distracting ways, 
after that training or during that training, it can go very fast. You can accumulate this free will. You can reaccumulate. You can remember how powerful you are through that practice very quickly. Okay. And then this gives you the launching platform to also dive deep into the realization of what's beyond this illusion. And before that, the substratum of the illusion, which is the presence energy where all things are one big soup of presence energy, where there's only one beingness. But beyond that, there's the one infinite absolute, which you can only penetrate with great will. So whether you're on the path of self-realization or on the path of empowerment, of the individuation, I encourage you to see there is ultimately no distinction or separation. You will be only as effective in one way as you are in the other. You will only be as free in your empowerment as you are able to know and recognize that you're already free beyond this form, beyond this illusion, beyond separation. Only then can you feel fearless and free to actually empower, make a difference in people's lives, make a difference to creation, accelerate creation's purpose, which is to evolve and to allow consciousnesses through the use of the paint that is this creation to paint different pictures so that it can become self-reflective and wake up to itself. Apologies for speaking so fast. You can pause and rewind and play again. All right, so suggestion is that you go on a little walk every day doesn't have to be any longer than 20 minutes. It can be, if you're free, if you have a lot of time, you can do it for an hour. If you only have five minutes, take the five minutes. Um, walk barefoot if you can. Now, I'm usually inclined to advise against anything hippie because I think it generally scares away mainstream and therefore it doesn't make as much of a difference if we're all cluttered together as hippies, celebrating kumbaya, bare feet, having certain lifestyles, idolizing these lifestyles above other lifestyles and saying this is better and more spiritual and then we scare everyone away. That has a real chance at waking up if we are not so full of ourselves as spiritual people. Okay, that being said, still barefoot, there is some value to it. <laughs> Walk barefoot if you can, if you're not too ashamed of your neighbors, and if so, then maybe day three or four you can start doing barefoot after you've gained some confidence. Do a daily little walk, an intention walk, a gathering, an accumulation of the free will of the one infinite creator harnessed through the individuation walk. Okay, you can abbreviate that or come up with an acronym. Intention walk, basically. So you go out, you just walk. The beauty about walking is that your body and mind, your energy field, your circuitry, it enters into a certain trance state, especially after a little while. This is why 20 minutes is better than five minutes. Um, but still, if you have five minutes, just do the five minutes. And the fun part also about walking is that it takes you out of your current environment and it gives you some exercise for some of you that is new, that is novel, that's weird. So that's also good, makes a difference. So go on your intention walk and all you do is walk and your only focus really is the feeling into I can. It's that simple. So you walk and all you feel into, all you try to accumulate and gather is the feeling, the knowledge, the confidence in self. That's it. You gather confidence in self. You know, you remember, you are an expression of the one infinite creator. And on this walk, you shed all petty mindedness. You let go of all your bullshit taught to you by your parents, your society, your media, your fucked up government, your neighbors, worst of all, your neighbors. All right. And you let go. You just drop that. You walk straight through it. You penetrate it. You pierce through it like a sharp knife through a warm piece of butter. All right. The butter is the neighbors, the family, the fucked up governments, the everything that's trying to keep you small and limited and make you forget that you are infinitely powerful, infinitely free. And you just walk straight through that. You don't allow that. You don't tolerate those vibrations in your mind. And so the way you do that is by remembering that you are the one infinite creator, which will be easier when you're walking. I guarantee you that. Pay attention. It's fun. What happens? And then as you walk, you just focus on the feeling how you can, how everything that you know, the ways in which you want to make a difference, the ways in which you want to be affluent and abundant and free and successful and prosperous and focused and sharp and kind and loving and amazing and remarkable and unbelievably epic. 
all the ways in which you want to create and shape yourself and crystallize yourself and warp the creation, the space, time, substance, paint, material with which this illusion is generated. You want to be the vortex that creates all that stuff, that attracts all that stuff, that warps the very loss of existence around your will. Now the irony is again, many people will judge that this is not spiritual because this is the ego. And yes, in a sense, you're right. But you know what? You need that power. You need that free will to more powerfully recognize the state of unity. And like even in a love one, you'll see it's all about the discipline of the personality. As you want to go into the higher densities of understanding, the higher concentrations of consciousness, of light, of awareness, of awakening, of knowing the one infinite creator to be what you are, what all that is, is. You need that discipline of the personality. You need the application of will in rightful ways. So here's where it's not destructive, in rightful ways. You want to develop the strength, the power of will in rightful ways. Again, what are rightful ways? Rightful ways are life-affirming ways. Things that affirm the abundance of all that is, the freedom of all that is, the free will honors the free will of each entity, yet does not hide itself from that free will, does not hide itself from the neighbors, does not hide itself from the society, but at the same time completely respects the free will of that society. Life-affirming ways such as love and kindness and generosity and being an example of something truly remarkable that's never been done before in the way that only you can. This is what you were born for. I don't care if you're 78 years old right now. You can still make that fucking difference. And especially if you're young, you're going to build this momentum. You're going to apply your will. You're going to train this. You're going to train this. You're going to train this. Mark my words. You're going to train this. You're going to fall in love with it. You're going to become addicted to knowing yourself to be the one infinite creator and applying that in creation to creation and seeing the magic that unfolds that inspires you to go even deeper into self-realization that then inspires you to go even broader in the manifestation that then inspires you to know more and more of the one infinite creator. And the more you know the one infinite creator, the more you only see the one infinite creator in everything you're doing and failing and at some point you're just this empty fucking fizzle of transformation of benign benevolence all right no matter who doubts you it doesn't matter you are the one infinite and it just shines forth and there is no shame about it and there's no ego around it there's no arrogance around it it's just the way that it infinitely powerfully is and so everyone else can deal with it in whatever way they choose to deal with it but you be it, you've got to be it, you've got to live up to this. <laughs> so the application of will will train you, will make everything flow, it's what activates grace. What activates grace is not laziness, it's the active application of will through the realization that 90% of what you're doing every day is not important. Start shifting it into things that are valuable, that are rightful ways, that are in alignment, that are life affirming, that are abundance affirming, that are creator affirming, that are joy affirming, that are freedom affirming. Start channeling all your energy, your focus into those ways. Apply, 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 apply. And before you know it, this is also the source of peace. You may not think so looking at me right now because it may seem a little hysterical <laughs> or excited or passionate. but. You know, there's such a deep, profound peace underneath this. This is just one way in which I can express myself. This is one suit I can wear. This is one way in which I can express myself that will reach an audience that I will not reach, that I will not appeal to with the message of the One Infinite Creator, that the life-affirming message will not appeal to if it's not in this way. But this video you can share with your creator friends, with your millennial friends perhaps, with your celebrity friends. They'll be able to relate to this. They recognize this energy. They recognize this capacity, this power. And so I encourage you to do that. Share this video. Enliven someone's day, but practice it yourself. Go on a daily intention walk. Just clear your mind. Let all the trivialities fall away. Get super clear on who you are, why you are here, and bring in only the feeling of confidence in self as the creator, not as an ego, confidence in self as one with all that is, confidence as being the harnesser of the power of the creator. There's no ego in that ultimately. Now there's ego along the way that you'll have to purify, but life will give you those reflections. Don't worry about it. You don't have to keep yourself small to suppress the ego. It's much better to develop yourself, to apply yourself, and in that process to honestly inve investigate in what ways you should purify yourself. And life will reflect this to you exactly. Don't you worry, my friend. Just fucking go for it, okay? I love you. Will is all you've got. Use it wisely. <laughs>
One more thing about this is that do not underestimate those five to 20 minute walks every day. If you think you don't have time for this, I guarantee you this is like your control center, your DJ station, your holodeck. Whatever you do, the power, the clarity, the confidence, the conviction, the breakthrough energy that you harness during those five, 10, 20, 30, 40 minutes, whatever it is every day, it will organize your entire fucking life. It will break through all the things that you're working so hard against every single day by not being clear in your vibration, by not having a clarified frequency of applied will. So it's far more productive to take a 10 minute walk, clear your energies, gather, accumulate the energy, the feeling of I can, I can, I can, I can, I can make a difference. Just accumulate that, feel the power of the creator course through you and apply that in rightful ways. That alone is your control center for the entire rest of the day, week, month, and it will carry over. If you do this in the afternoon, you'll notice if you've really done it, that the next day when you wake up, you wake up with an elevated energy. You wake up ready to tackle the day and maybe then immediately you go on a walk and you start to build this momentum. You start to just clear your frequencies and from a clear vibrational state of being, your life will be attracted to you because honestly, linearity, space, time, physical action, those are all totally secondary. They're completely illusory compared to the vibrational state of being. You can shift your state of being in those five minutes and you will attract an entirely different parallel reality into your manifest experience that otherwise you would be trying to work your way up towards from a different parallel reality which is impossible like abram hicks says you cannot get there from here so you got to change where you are now in order to change what reflects back to you all right so do not underestimate these five to 30 minutes walks are the most productive time of your day and for those of you who are willing to actually apply this and try this and are excited about this for let's say at least 30 days, hopefully for a lifetime, but at least 30 days, um, I will create a Facebook group right now just to see people's responses and transformations and reflections. So if you are one of the ones that are actually going to do this, um, join the Facebook group, which I'll create right now, uh, called Trinfinity Presents Daily Intention Walks. So Trinfinity is my organization. Um, we're all about making a difference in the world and attaining an enlightened civilization by 2035. There's many ways in which you can contribute, but the most important part is to just live the most epic, free, self-realized existence that you can. This is crucial at this timing on our planet and help us make that difference by applying your will in rightful ways. Okay. So again, Facebook group is called Trinfinity Presents Daily Intention Walks. And let us know about your transformations there, about the processes, the breakthroughs that you have on these daily little walks. Much love.